Yeah, several dozen protesters are here, Brian, at multiple locations trying to not only block employees from entering the employee parking lot, but also trying to block buses from leaving the terminal. As you can see behind me, this is the first time we have actually seen a bus get this close to protesters, but as you can see, they are unable to leave that terminal because the protesters are blocking it there with their bodies. The protesters feel it's unsafe for students to return to school given the pandemic. Meanwhile, the district superintendent, Dr. Nico Livedi has said this is a necessary step for many students and families to catch up and that around 2000 parents in the district requested face to face learning this summer. He also says it can be done safely with social distancing masks and other measures. Now yesterday's protest was deemed a victory by the organizers as no bus left the terminal that today they say is also their goal. The chair of the group by any means necessary, which organized today's demonstration also plans on filing an injunction with the court of claims to try and halt district buildings from reopening for in person summer school. It will be an immediate pause if we get the junction in, injunction granted. It will be an immediate pause on um, on schools, you know, being open and then, um, you know, and we, you know, we want to make that a permanent pause. Now, Dr. Nikolai Vidi said around 500 students received face to face instruction yesterday. We do know that yesterday's action had some impact on student attendance. We haven't seen any bus leave the terminal so far this morning. The district told us yesterday they planned on adapting to make sure kids could get to school who wanted to be there. We'll stay tuned on that. We'll be in touch with the district to see how this morning's protest affected turnout today. Reporting live this morning on the city's west side, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News.